Now we've come to the point where we get to put the fingers down. So again, we start with our feet together and we make a V and take a step and we shift our weight back and forth and we put our hand over our high dot and we do our Statue of Liberties and we're going to rest the violin on our collarbone and it's very comfy. Now, all of this, this time we've been practicing plucking with our little finger over our high dot and that has done a couple things for us. It's made our little finger very strong, but it's also given us a really good shape for our left hand. So all we have to do now is slide down on our magic X and let's see if you still have that magic X. Yes, it's still so magic, it's still there. It hasn't quite disappeared in all of these weeks. And then what we're going to do, we're going to slide down on our magic X and we're going to practice putting our first finger on our first line, our second finger almost to the second line, and then our third finger goes on that line. And there we have our perfect position. Our little finger stays very relaxed and our elbow is flexible here. Good. Then what we do, we're going to start with our hand over the high dot again, and we're going to practice seesaw, which is the first song that we do with our bow. So we take our bow, that's right, and fingers so loose, and we're going to play from the middle to the tip with a very legato stroke, and we'll start with our hand over the high dot, and we'll play E, two, three, two, three, one, two, three. And we slide down and we put our first finger down. A, and we'll play with G. Okay.